guys, it's Kendra. Today I wanted to give you a video all on our kitchen reno process. So we are currently still under construction, well I wouldn't say it's under construction still, but we have a lot to do still, we're about halfway there. So we have all the cab, we ripped out all of our old cabinets, put new ones in. Um, we had custom cabinets built because ours were just really old and dingy and we wanted uh, taller ones and our kitchen is kind of like a weird size. So we got new cabinets, we got new counters which just were installed and I absolutely love them. So I'll show you those. That was the last thing that we had done. We got a new sink and faucet which is beautiful. I think that might be my favorite thing of the whole kitchen. And we still have to paint, we still have to put all the hardware on. We still have to do a backsplash, so there's still stuff to do, but like the bulk and the hard stuff, I feel like, is all the way done. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and let's get into it. So we are officially starting to take out our cabinets. I want to show you, I mean, I'm sure you guys kind of know what our kitchen looks like, but it's going to be a lot different very soon. So all of our cabinets are going to, we're taking all of them out and getting new ones installed. And then they're going to be about a foot taller. So all the way up to that wall. And we'll have a vent over our oven now. Yeah, we're gonna take the microwave out, put it down there, and we're going to extend the countertop. So we have more counter space and then just two um, storage things on top and bottom. And then we're raising the cabinets higher too so that can like fit our blender and stuff in there. So ignore all the stuff, we're emptying out all the cabinets. But over here, we're gonna have a, um, a farm stand sink, like an apron front sink there, and then a new faucet that's going to be just a lot better. All the accents in here are gonna be chrome, so it's gonna be like chrome accents, the hardware, and then it'll be white cabinets. Then we're gonna do quartz countertops, kind of like the Carrera marble look, but quartz is more durable and it's more affordable. And then over here, just kind of wrap, this is going to be kind of the same. And then over here, okay, it's just a disaster in here right now, but that's all right. Um, these are going to be all raised too. We're going to have more storage up there above our fridge. And I think that is it. So here's one last look before everything starts to look just like crazy chaotic for the next month. Okay, so here is what we have so far. I'll give you guys a little overview first. It looks a lot different, but we still have a lot to do. So um, I'll start with the bottom cabinets because that's what was the next thing that we did um, from where I stopped filming. So we had those installed after about a few weeks after we had the uppers installed and the main difference is 
if you remember we had that big pantry right there so we ripped that all out and then extended our counters there because we wanted more counter space as opposed to more storage because I don't know I just felt like our pantry had a lot of wasted space in it we didn't really use it that much so I just feel like we have so much more counter space and that's actually the spot I use the most now so um, down here we put our microwave which originally was up there and I like it better here too and then down here we have it's kind of hard to open these right now because we don't have the hardware in but we just put a big it's really deep a really deep drawer here and that's basically where we keep all of our stuff that was in our pantry like our canned stuff uh, snacky things kind of like oh, I'm just miscellaneous things and then up here is where we have the rest so on the right it's still like vitamins protein spices that sort of thing and then over on the left is like baked things to bake with um kind of just random like oils and that sort of thing but it really works and i really like it so they're pretty much the same all the way around the main difference over here is since our sink is a lot bigger and it's open right there. Um, it's just a different design. But other than that, those are pretty much the same. So we're going to paint um, in about a week. Or no, two weeks. And then we can actually put the hardware in, which I'm very excited for. Because it's kind of a paint open. We did the inset ones, so they're flush. So you can do two different styles. So these ones are flush. So it actually saves some space. And I just like the look that it gives too. We also got a new stove before ours went up to about here. So now we just have a lot of extra room here, especially since our cabinets are a lot higher than they were before. Um, so now we can fit the Vitamix in before it, we had to, you know, separate it. So it's really nice to have the extra space. At first I thought it was going to be too high, but I'm really used to it now, so it's fine. And then our stove we got from Sears. We wanted this one from KitchenAid and Sears just delivered it the quickest. So that's where we got it from. I just really love it. I'm running out of breath. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, and I'll show you the inside. We haven't used the inside yet, but I really like it. I just like that it's cleaner looking. It's more stainless steel than black. So now I want to talk about the sink and faucet, which I just love so much. So. Both are from Kohler. I got the largest one. Of, they have, two, I think, two different sizes of these sinks. And I got the bigger one. Uh, I believe it's 32. But I will put all of the specs down below in the info section for you guys. And then we just got the white color. And if you can tell, it, go, it starts from higher and it goes lower. So when you're washing everything, it kind of funnels in, which is really handy. And then the faucet is... I just love it so much. I love this little handle. Um, and then this changes to this, which is like to kind of clean it. And then this changes to that setting. And this also comes off. And you can swivel it. So it's super handy. And it's so nice having a big sink without the divider. I just love it so much. We think we might get a drying rack to put there because we don't really use our dishwasher that much. We kind of prefer to just wash them by hand. It's quicker and we save a lot of water. So we might put one over there. But yeah, I'm so happy with this sink. It's cast iron. It just feels super durable. And I love the look. And we got the taller faucet too. So there's that at this angle so you can see it. So now I will show you guys more on our countertops. So we ended up going with quartz. They also down here kind of refinished. It's gonna look so nice when it's all painted, but um, we ended up getting quartz and they are the slabs. We had to get two different slabs because just how much we needed, but it actually cost the same for materials than it would to get prefab pieces just like the kind we were looking at 
Uh, the only thing was the labor was a lot more expensive. But I just figured, you know, I really want to love them. And the prefab, like, selections were very small. And all of the quartz, like the white quartz, they looked really spotted. And when I saw this one, this just looked so much more like marble because it actually has the veining. And it's not all, like, spots all over this place. So... I just thought this one looked really so much like marble. Like when I saw it, I couldn't believe it. It's called New Carrera. And then I had this edge, had them finish the edge like this because I figured if we were getting the slabs, we might as well make it custom since we could. And I just love how it came out. There's two seams. There's one right here, which is pretty minimal. And then over on this side, there's one. So, but I just love the counters. They're so easy, they're durable. We're having a drywall guy come out next week to patch up some of the holes. So the tile will go on a little bit easier. Like there's just kind of like random spots where we had our other tile. So we're gonna patch that up. And then I think what we're gonna do is do, at first I wanted to do the arabesque tiles that are kind of like the lantern style. But now I'm thinking we might do subway tiles because it'll look better on these random little spots. And then maybe do like a center piece here with a with the arabesque tiles. Or like herringbone. There. I don't know. I keep looking on Pinterest. I'm not 100% sure. But this is pretty much everything so far. So if you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know in the comments. And I'll get back to you. I'm also going to do a blog post with pictures and stuff. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this and I will talk to you very soon. One thing I wanted to talk about first before I talk about how I've been feeling is I've, I've been way less stressed lately. My last video is just funny because that's like right when we found out we were having twins. So I was in shock 